Welcome to the service clinic at Low Country Harley Davidson. I'm Doc Harley. Last evening, I went to the television and I wanted to watch a movie. So I called out a certain actor, found a list of uh, movies. I chose one and I watched it. And at the end of the movie, it was a great movie. At the end of the movie, I noticed it wasn't just that actor. It was supporting actors and actresses. It was the supporting crew and the CG. There was a lot of things that went into this movie to make that actor look really good. And I was thinking about today's video to share with you. A lot of you are like me that put a lot of research on the cam that you want to put in your bike. So you do the research and you do the numbers and they're all basically the same price, about $350. So you do the research and you go, okay, I want the 255 low speed torque cam for 350. I've made the choice of my cam. All right, so I have the 255 cam. Now this video is only talking about a bolt in cam. So when you buy this cam, there are, support, there are supporting actors and actresses that help this cam shine. First thing is the cam bearing, the inner cam bearing. We here at Low Country Harley-Davidson install the Streaming Eagle bearing. It is because this is a stock bearing next to the Streaming Eagle bearing. The Streaming Eagle bearing has twice as many bearings to support the performance lift of the cam. On any cams we put in on the shop, we put this Screaming Eagle cam bearing. So when you're choosing your cam, know that this is a supporting actor that needs to be in the set to make your cam run well. So we're using the Screaming Eagle bearing. Now, of course, when you're putting in a cam, you're going to have to put new mounting bolts. So this is something you have to purchase. And then we have the spacers that space out the cam to be in alignment with the pinion. So this is something you have to purchase. Now, you're going to take the cam cover off, so you're going to need the cam cover gasket. A lot of you have to take the exhaust system off to get to the cam cover, so you need exhaust gaskets. And then there are two little O-rings that are part of the cam area that you should replace and put new ones in, and you have a new retaining clip. So now you're noticing that you bought the cam but there are other items that you're going to have to have to install this cam. Now this is where I have two setups here. There is a decision you need to make. On a bolt-in cam, you can use stock Harley-Davidson push rods. Now on many aftermarket cams, you need to review the instructions and see what they say because they make cams in a different way that some can use stock push rods, some can't. But there is two different avenues here. If you go with the stock push rods, you have to relieve the pressure off the stock push rods to be able to put the cam in. So then you're going to have to purchase gaskets and O-rings for the top rocker area so you can take things apart and put it back together again. So you're going to have to purchase this type of thing. And when you are going to take this part off, you're going to have to replace the breather assembly. So these are items you're going to have to go if you go in this direction and keeping your stock push rods. And there's extra labor because you're taking this apart. Now let's go to the other side. This side, the customer has decided to spend the extra $200 and purchase the adjustable push rods. Well, then Harley-Davidson says if you do it carefully, you can cut, not grind, but cut the original push rods out, leave the top rocker area alone, Put the install, the adjustable push rods in, then you purchase just these items, the cam bearing, the spacer, the bolt, the gasket. Now, I've got these bearings here because if you own a pre-hydraulic tensioners, you know, the early spring style, you're going to have to replace the bearings that are on the end of the cam. On later models, the bushings and the aluminum in the cam plate don't need the bearings. But if you have pre-hydraulic tensioners on, in the cam area, you're going to have to replace the bearings also, and that's an added cost. So there are two different avenues to go. Now, there is one more supporting actor or actress we can talk about that really enhances this show, and that's the Screaming Eagle Tappets. Now, you don't have to go with Screaming Eagle Tappets when you go with a drop-in cam of 255 or less. But 
50-50 chance most customers that do not install these come back later and say, would you please put these in? There's numerous reasons. One, these were built for performance cams. Your stock lifters were engineered, made for a stock cam. When you put a performance cam that has a higher lift, longer duration, then performance tappets are the way to go, but that's another $250 to add into it. So you have to make these choices. You've chosen the cam, you've done your research, but you really need to look at the big picture. What am I going to need to install my cam so it does the best show that it can, supporting items that can give it the best life, reliability, and performance that you took the time to spend the money to get this cam. So I just wanted to bring to the table here and to the movies, there are supporting things. Talk with your service writer, your service manager, your technician. Take him out for a drink or something and say, listen, I want to put this cam in. What do I need? What will give me the best reliability and performance when I choose this cam? When you go bigger than a bolt-in cam, we'll make that a separate video because there is a whole lot more of supporting things that need to be in this package to get the best results that you spent the time to research and to purchase. I'm Doc Harley. We'll see you next week.